Hey guys, it's me Talha. In this video, I will be sharing with you a Revit hack to create partition walls in Revit. Before I get started, I would like to suggest you check out my website learnrevitonline.com to get my Revit advanced courses as well as you can check out my Patreon to get uh, all my Revit project files. Now let's get started. So here I'm in Revit and as you can see, I have already opened this project and uh, I want to create a partition wall here. So let's go to level one and the trick to create the partition wall is that we are going to use curtain wall to create uh, a partition wall here so let's select wall from here and then from this drop down select curtain wall let's create an 8 feet curtain wall here like so and now I uh, will just quickly create a section here and just double click this section head to go to the section view and here we have our curtain wall let's just drag it to the ceiling here perfect now let's change the visual style to shade it and i will just change the detail level to fine so we got our curtain wall here now let's add a curtain grid here so select curtain grid from here and i will add it at one foot let's select this again and we want to create an array so select array from here make sure move to is set to second and then click here and click on this grid line and it will ask us to give the number of elements we want so let's try seven perfect now let's create the horizontal grid lines so select curtain grid from here again i will create a uh, horizontal grid at one foot and then create an array again ar for array let's click here and then click on this grid line and let's put nine uh, number of elements just press enter and there you go now let's ungroup all of these grid lines so first i will just hover over this uh, vertical grid line and then right click select all instances visible in view and then click ungroup here repeat the same with the horizontal uh, grid lines as well just right click select all instances visible in view and group perfect now if you notice at the bottom we have this very small gap so we don't need this uh, horizontal grid so let's just delete that select the grid line and simply click here delete perfect let's just equally divide the distance between these horizontal grids for that you just need to create the dimension here di for dimension let's create dimension on on all these horizontal grids until the ceiling here and then you just need to click this little eq button to equally divide the distance between this let's delete this don't need them anymore just click unconstrain perfect now uh, we can create the openings on these grid lines to create uh, to create a design for this uh, partition wall so first i want to create a rectangular opening here so for that we need to remove this horizontal segment let's select this grid line and click here add or remove segments and then just click on this uh, grid line perfect uh, we got this rectangular opening here now i will just quickly repeat that uh, on this side as well so let's select this grid line click here and then click on this segment of course you can remove multiple segments at once if you want to just click on the segments which you want to remove i will just quickly undo i'm going to create a simple design for this tutorial so we have created these two openings let's create another one here at the bottom uh, i want to remove the vertical mullions here so let's select this one click here and then click the segment let's repeat the same with the other grid lines as well and uh, let's create another opening here so i have created these four openings here now let's go to 3d and now we can just add mullions to this curtain wall to create uh, the partition wall so before that i want to create a new mullion type so let's search for the mullion family here just right click search and let's type mullions click next and it will take you to the curtain wall mullions here let's close this uh, search box and expand this 
and then look for rectangular mullions expand this as well and then double click on the first one and create a duplicate let's call it partition wall and let's type 0 to here click ok and here we have the parameter for the thickness uh, thickness of the mullions so let's try 2 inch and we have the material parameter here as well for now we'll just leave it aluminium and then we have the dimension for the width if you want to you can uh, change these dimensions as well for now we'll just leave it as it is click ok now let's add the mullions to this curtain wall so select mullion from here and then select all grid lines and just click on the grid line here there you go we have created this cool looking partition wall here now if i zoom in here you see we have these curtain panels to remove them you just need to select the curtain wall edit type duplicate let's call it partition wall you just add 0 to click ok and here in the curtain panel just select an empty uh, panel here we have it empty system panel just select that click ok there we go that's how easy it is to create partition walls using uh, curtain walls in Revit. I've created the simple design uh, for this tutorial. Of course, you can create any kind of design you like using this method. So that's all I have for you guys today. Uh, that's it for this video. I hope you have learned something new. So please make sure to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Don't forget to turn on the post notifications and don't forget to check out my Patreon to get all my Revit project files. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.